So this is how I want you to conduct yourself. I'm reading from Matthew 5, verses 23 and 24. And I'm reading from the Message Bible because I like it. Okay. <laughs> I like the word. Okay. This is how I want you to conduct yourself in these matters. If you enter into your place of worship and you are about to make an offering, you suddenly remember a grudge a friend has against you. Abandon your offering. Leave immediately. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> Go to, to this friend and make things right. Go to this friend and make things right. Then and only then come back and work things out with God. And that means to say that, you know, we got to forgive each other. You got to let each other know. You can't come to God over a bunch of stuff. You, just, you cannot. If somebody wronged you, let it go. They might not even know. And I'm not saying it's trivial that because sometimes people really hurt you. It's not to say that you are not hurt. You know, I'm the sensitive one, as my mother says. <laughs> and uh, I get hurt, and I'm like, okay, God, I gotta let it go. Yeah. I have to let that go because the more you revisit it in your mind, yeah. the more roots that thing takes. Yeah. And it gets deeper and deeper, and every time you revisit it, you are opening that wound again. You talk that God heal it. So you have to let that go so that you can allow God to heal it. And then you can come back to God and be open and free. And that's when you have true freedom. It's when you let things go. That's real freedom. That's when you can be free in the Holy Spirit. You can come in here and you can praise God because you don't have all that junk. And it's not, again, I'm not saying they didn't hurt you, that you're not hurt or that it wasn't freedom. But if you give it to them and you let him heal it, can't nobody heal it like he's going to heal it. No. If you just give it to them, if you say, you know what, I forgive you. I love you. I see the God in you. And I see the God in you. And the God in me sees the God in you. And I can just appreciate the God in you. We ain't got to be best friends. I ain't got to, hey girl. No. But I see the God in you. And I know that there's God in every single one of you. That I can recognize that. And I can then go, oh, you know what? I can praise God now. I'm free to do that. It is so freeing to just let it go. I hear that the spirit in this place it just keeps coming back to that. But I'm like, uh oh. You must be trying to tell us something. Yeah. You know, let it go. Yeah. Walk away so I can bless you. Yeah. Listen, don't even come in here with an offering. I can't even come. I can't even be like, here, God. No. Nope. I got to, yeah, okay, well, let me go forgive so that I can get what I need. I want to be blessed. I don't know about y'all. But if that's holding up my blessings to hear, let me let it go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm grateful that the Lord is working on us as a body. And he gives us each other so that we can see him and work out things. I'm just, I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. Thank you for being here. You know, thank you. Praise the Lord. I'm just, I'm grateful to be here.